Masataka Yoshida hits a game-tying home run down to his last strike on a 3-2 count with two outs. The Red Sox tied up in the 10th. It's Sedane Rafaela hitting a go-ahead two-run home run. What a comeback for the Red Sox. The Yankees have now lost four straight. Red Sox win 5-3 in LA. It's Will Smith. He had himself a night. Starting off in the first, he gets a hanging sweeper. Goes Oppa with it. Then in the third, he gets another hanging sweeper and he sends it out. His second home run of the night, but the Brewers would take the lead. Reese Hoskins with a big grand slam go ahead. But then it's Will Smith again. His third home run of the night inside cutter. It's off the pole again game tying home run. Dodgers go on to win 8-5. The games keep getting crazier. Alec Thomas hits a grand slam. Diamondbacks now down only 7-6. Corbin Carroll would get to second base. Then it's Randall Grichik with a go-ahead two-run home run down the left field line. But then in the bottom of the ninth, it's Jerks and Profar. Game tying home run. This game would keep getting crazier. Padres get a runner to first, and it's Manny Machado. He sends the San Diego fans home happy. What a home run. That one is gone. It's a walk-off home run. Padres win 10-8. to They hold off the Diamondbacks' comeback. Paul Skeens on the mound for the Pirates. And the Pirates offense ended up helping him, but he did the work for seven innings pitch, only allowing two runs, lowers his season ERA to 2 1 2. Eight strikeouts. What a night for Skeens. But I told you about that Pirates offense. They went crazy. Starting off in the fourth, Rowdy Telez cutting the Mets lead in half. Then it's Jack Sawinski, a game tying home run. They would not be done. It's Brian Reynolds in the fifth. A two-run go-ahead home run. That's their third home run of the night. They would keep going. It's Brian Reynolds again. It's a grand slam, making it 8-2. to two. They're still not done. It's Yasmani Grandal, no doubt about it, into center field. Next batter, Michael A. Taylor. He goes opposite field for a home run. And yes, they're still not done. It's Rowdy Telez again for the Pirates' seven home run of the night. That's Telez's second and it's a grand slam. What a night for the Pirates. They win 14-2 in Minnesota. Jose Miranda with his 10th straight at bat with a hit. He is on fire right now. But the Astros, they would have a nice lead, 10 to 5. Joey Loperfito keeps it that way. He does he catch it? What a catch! Off his glove, then he catches it barehand. Insane concentration to keep that catch. Then Alex Bregman would put this game out of reach, you might think, making it 13 to 5. But in the bottom of the ninth base load, Carlos Correa gets an inside two seam and he crushes it. It's a grand slam, making it a one run game. Can Manuel Margot save the day? He cannot. Josh Hader gets a strikeout. And the Astros win 13-12. Another insane game there. Trey Turner continues his hot week. His third home run of the week. It's a two-run bomb in the fourth. Then it's Austin Riley going dead center. Center field, two-run home run, making it 3-2. But it's Trey Turner again. His fourth home run of the week. His second game this week with two home runs. A two-run homer. Phillies win 8-6 in Cleveland. It's Josh Naylor. The offense did not work last night for the Guardians. But Josh Naylor kept it going. He has 21 homers this season. Giants win 4-2. And finally, Wilson Contreras with a game-tying home run in the top of the ninth. Cardinals go on to win it 7-6 in extra innings. Thank you guys so much for watching. An insane day for baseball yesterday. I'll see you guys next time.